Hope you're all doing well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the chat. Oh, I'm not using my computer, so of course when I paste it, it's all bunched up. I'm sorry, you guys. All right, so we're gonna start off with a 20 minute EMOM. So we're gonna be doing four rounds, okay? Minute one is gonna be a 10 scat push up plus 30 crab toe reach. Minute two is gonna be 10 Cossack squats plus five Kang squat. Minute three is gonna be three donkey kick plus 20 quadruped shoulder taps. And then minute four, we're gonna do 50 seconds of cardio. So maybe high knees, jump rope, um, not mountain climbers, you're already doing that. Uh, jumping jacks, burpees, some sort like that. And then afterwards, we're gonna rest on minute five. And then we'll go through that four rounds. And then we have strength today. It's gonna to be three sets of 12 goblet curtsy lunge. Um, you're gonna rest 45 seconds in between each set for me. And then afterwards, we have three sets of 12 single leg Romanian deadlift, six on each leg, and I'll have you rest 45 seconds in between each set. And then afterwards, we have three sets of one minute on, 90 seconds off of max push-ups followed by three sets of 30 seconds on, 60 seconds off of hollow rocks. Anyone have any questions? No, okay, cool. Let's go ahead and go over our EMOM, right? So for our EMOM, you guys, minute one is gonna be 10 step, one second actually. I have to keep my phone next to me since I can't reference it like I normally get to on the computer. Okay, minute one is gonna be 10 scat push-ups plus uh, 30 crab toe reach. Lower your scat push-ups, you guys, want you to keep your arms straight. Excuse me, just look back. At some point, I'll tell you to do them on your forearms, calm down, squeezing the shoulder blades back. After you do 10, you're gonna go onto your butt, and you're gonna do 30 up to a reach. And you end up working for that entire minute, and you only get like 20 reps, that's totally fine. You stick with 20 reps each round. Minute two is gonna be 10 Cossack squats plus five hang squats. So we're gonna have a super wide uh, stance. We're gonna think of pushing the knee out, butt back, knee out. And then we're gonna to try to lift up that toe and get our butt down as low as we can, hopefully loosen up after each round. And then afterwards we have five king squats, right? King squat, Peter gonna be shoulder width. I'll be sure to go through this each round with you the first time. Peter gonna be shoulder width, hands across the chest. We're gonna push the butt back into a good morning. We're gonna drop the butt, drive the knees out, like from here, hips back up, hands across the chest and stand. You'll be doing five of those. And then minute three is gonna be three donkey kick plus uh, 20 shoulder tap. So for your donkey kick, you guys, you're gonna think of keeping your hands planted on the ground. I'm going to squeeze butt, squeeze abs as I kick off hard from the floor, trying to extend my legs. You guys don't have to flip over like that, but if it happens, just be wary. And then after your three donkey kick, you're gonna do 20 shoulder tap. So we're gonna be in a quadruped stance. From here, you're gonna tap each shoulder. You're gonna do 20 total. And then minute four, it's gonna be your 50 seconds of cardio. Minute five, you're gonna rest. All right, you guys, any questions off of what I went over? No. Okay, cool. Let me get the clock going. And then we're going to start in our first minute of 10 scat push-ups. Did someone have a question? No. Okay. 10 scat push-ups and crab to reach. Devon, can you turn a fan on? Yeah. Thank you. All right, you guys. 10 seconds. We're going for our 10 scat push-ups. And 30 crab to reach. 20 to 30. Three, two, one. Here you go. Good job, you guys, keeping those hips up. You guys have 30 seconds left. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. And then next we're going into our ten Cossack squats and five tank squats and five, four, three two, one, 10 Cossacks. So one on each side is gonna be one. I mean, one, as you just do, as you push your hip back and knee out, that's one rep. Sometimes I talk too much. <laughs> 10 Cossack and then 5K. Good job, you guys. All right, your King, hand across the chest, feet are shoulder width. Pushing that butt back into a good morning, right? 
You're gonna drop the butt, drive knees out, hips back up, hands across the chest, and stand. You have 25 seconds. If you don't get five done, that's okay. You can do three or four. And 10 seconds, we're going to our donkey kick and our shoulder taps. Nice, Sebastian. Three, two, one, donkey kick. So plant those hands on the floor. And then now 20 shoulder taps, keeping the knees low to the ground. So Bev, bend your knees for me and try to keep your knees super low to the ground. Yeah, there we go. Good, squeeze butt, squeeze abs. You guys have about 20 seconds. And then now minute four, we're gonna go into 50 seconds of cardio. And 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, 50 seconds of cardio. Nice work, you guys. Breathe. Twenty seconds. Keep it up, ten seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. We're getting about a little over a minute of rest here. Fifty seconds. Thirty seconds. We're going back to our scat push up and crab whoop, crab toe reach. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Keeping those arms straight. Good job, you guys. About 15 seconds, and we're going to our 10 Cossacks and 5 Kang Squat. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Nice work, Sebastian. Good job, Bev. There we go. Nice work, Steph. Good job, Stuart. Nice, Will.
30 seconds. So when you're done with your COSACs, you got five Kang, three to five Kang, whatever you can fit in in the minute, remainder of the minute. You have about 12 seconds. And then we're going to our donkey kick, three donkey kick and 20 shoulder tap. Three, two, one, here we go. Three donkey kick and 20 shoulder tap. Nice, Will. Nice, Bev. Thirty seconds. Next up is our fifty seconds of cardio. Five, four, three two, one, here we go. Good job, you guys, breathe and move. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Ten seconds. Oh wait, we're resting this next minute. So we're getting like a little bit over a minute of rest. I had to think about that. <laughs> three, two, and one. Full minute of rest here. Thirty seconds. This time, I want you guys to do your scat push-ups on your forearms, and your palms are going to be down. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Nice work, you guys. Make sure those hips don't collapse, keeping them about as high as the shoulders. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. 30 seconds. Twenty seconds, you guys keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Cossack and Kang squats. Here we go, you guys. Kang uh, Cossack squats are great to help on your mobility, hip mobility, cleaning out those hips, and Kang squats is also good for the same thing as well. Nice work, you guys. Initiating your cosack by pushing the hip back first and then hip out to the side. 
Hey, Stuart. You guys have about 30 seconds left. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, you guys, we have our donkey kick and shoulder taps. Thirty seconds, and we're going to our cardio. I'm gonna have you do the cardio for a full minute because we get a full minute of rest. Twenty seconds. Five, four, three. Two, one, here we go, minute of cardio. Think about your breathing. Nice work, Bev, those look good, they're getting better. About 30 seconds, you guys, keep it up. Woo, getting tired just watching you. 20 seconds, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> 15 seconds. Keep going, you guys, doing good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Full minute of rest here and we start our last round. Thirty seconds. Okay, we're going back to our last one of our scat push ups. Let's do forearms again one last time. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Nice work, squeezing glutes, squeezing abs. Don't let those hips collapse. seconds and then we go to our Cossack and Kang squat. Five, four, three, two, and one. Fifty seconds. Good job, you guys, keeping that chest up tall. So think of pushing that butt back, reaching forward, but keeping the chest up as much as you can. Good, Will.
five, four, three, two, one. Last one of our donkey kick and shoulder tap. Here we go. Nice work, you guys. Staying stable like you got a glass of wine on your back and you don't want it to fall over. Twenty seconds, and we go to our last minute of cardio. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, you guys. Minute of cardio. Thirty seconds. Nice work, you guys. Keep it going. Keep breathing. Keep moving. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Nice work, you guys. Go ahead and catch your breath. Big deep breaths in through the nose, letting that heart rate drop. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, talk about what we have next. Um, if you wanna look at the chat again, you can. So up next we have our, I'm looking at my phone because if I pull that up, it's annoying. We have our goblet curtsy lunge. Okay, I'm gonna have you guys do, it's 12 total. Um, it's six on each side. I didn't see that part. So we're doing it six on each side individually. We're not gonna do 12 alternating. So let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. So if you're a goblet curtsy lunge, you're going to hold a kettlebell at the chest, right? And then I'm going to think of stepping behind my leg and bending both knees down to the ground. Then I'm going to stand, right? And I'm going to go back to that same side. So go ahead and give me your first set of six on each side, you guys. So when you're done with your first set of six, each side, I want you to rest about 30 to 45 seconds. And then you're going to go ahead and do that. That was a clock. Do that again. Uh, and we're doing that for three sets, okay? And then when we're finished, we'll go over the next movement. Nice work, Sebastian. Good job, Will.
<clears throat> Will, did you finish your three sets already? One more, okay. Awesome work, you guys. Okay, next thing you have, you can finish up with your, finishing up your last two reps, is your RDL. Okay, so you're going to be doing six on each side. So you're going to hold your kettlebell or weight in both hands. Okay, you're going to stand with your knees softly bent, standing on one leg. The opposite leg, I want you guys to think of pushing that heel back behind you, trying to extend it. Right, you're going to hover above the ankle and then stand. Right, so you're keeping the knees softly bent. Um, and then as you push the butt back, be wary of the hips shifting. Right, so we want to keep the hips facing forward. You're going to do six on each leg. And then we've done a full set of six on each leg. Rest about 30 to 45 seconds. You're doing that three times. Is that one too heavy, Beth? <laughs> Hold it with both hands. Really squeeze butt and squeeze abs and find a focal point on the floor. Oh, I was gonna go with both of them. But can you do both hands with one leg? Yeah, there you go. And you don't have to touch the ground. That might have you lose your, your core tightness by touching the ground. So see if you can hover above the ankle. Squeeze butt, squeeze abs. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Yeah, there you go. Keep those shoulders squeezed back as we push the butt back. Looking good, you guys. So Stuart, really focus on squeezing the shoulder blades back the entire time you're pushing your butt back. Good. You guys, aren't you so excited? We're gonna see you next week, woo! Is so, are either of you not comfortable with coming back yet? Just curious, and also, you don't have to tell me. <laughs> no, looks like everyone's okay with it? Okay, maybe not. This is our last class with you then. Say what, Will? It's going to be our last class with you. Today? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, tomorrow, wait, tomorrow's Friday. So I teach the noon. So if you do tomorrow's class. Okay, cool. 
And yeah. then we see each other in person. Yeah, I think I, have, I haven't even met you in person, right? Uh, one, one time, I took one class. Okay, one class, okay. All right, sorry, I've, I've just gotten to know you better through this screen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna be coming in too next week, Bev? Definitely. Yeah, awesome. Are you teaching noon? Um, next week, I don't know what our, our schedule is going to be yet. I haven't heard. It's probably going to be what it used to be. And I had like the non-popular class time. So I think I have to, because <laughs> I'm the newest coach. So, but it's okay. I'm and usually we'll a 6 a.m. -er, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, well, the of... problem for me right now is I live in downtown LA. So I'm just like, uh, and I work at another gym also, but eventually they'll probably integrate me into other class uh, times here. Are you done with these ones, Will? Yeah, okay. All right, guys. Wait until everyone is done. Awesome work. All right, so last two things we have coming up. We have our three rounds of one minute on, 90 seconds off of max push-ups, all right? Uh, so for our max push-ups, you guys, um, if we need to, you guys can be raised up on a surface if our push-ups aren't very solid, all right? And we wanna try to get full range of motion. That's why we encourage raising up, up, up on a surface rather than dropping down to the knees, all right? Because that's just gonna help build your full range of motion strength in the long run, which is what we want, all right? So if we don't have any solid push-ups on the ground, all right? Like your chest to the floor, we want to try to get those shoulders below the elbow, chest to the floor if possible, right? Uh, you can go to hand release where you drop down all the way, lift the hands up, and then press back up, right? Or like if you're talking about the raised surface, so maybe you have a bench or even a chair, right? You're going to have your chest line go directly to the bench, and then you're going to press back, right? If you need something higher, that's totally okay, but I really encourage you not to drop down to the knees if that's uh, possible. Any questions? No? Okay. Let's get my this clock set up. It's been so long since I've used this clock, I can't even remember how to use it. I'm gonna use my phone. <laughs> right. All right, you guys, we are going to go in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, nice, Bev. There we go. Awesome work. You guys are about 20 seconds in. Thirty seconds to go. Squeeze butt, squeeze abs. The tighter you are, the easier that it will become. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. 
five, four, three, two, one, rest. 90 seconds of rest. So you've been working on pull-ups throughout quarantine, Bev? No, I haven't. Which Did you just why. get that? No, I've, I've, I've had it. Um, oh. <laughs> my shoulder's bothering me for the push-up, so I decided to do some pull-ups. Oh, okay. Do you know why your shoulder hurts? I, I don't. I'm not sure. It's, the, it's when I raise it right here. Okay. What, did it start recently? It hurt before, and then I think I flared it up. When oh, okay. I, you know what it was? When a lot of push-ups, I think the... Ah, the, okay. Stuff. Yeah, so I think that typically really happens when we don't focus on keeping the shoulders back and down, and like the traps start to creep up, and our push-ups end up looking like this. But like uh -huh. when we get back into the gym... Um, I can help you out with things. 30 seconds, you guys. And then Emma, did you ever see the PT who was here? Oh, you were coming in the early in the mornings. During the day, Emma, she's a physical therapist and she's always back here. And she's always more than welcome to answer any questions or give you advice on exercises to do to help your um, injuries you have. Good. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, you guys, we're gonna go in 10 seconds. Squeeze butt, squeeze abs, break them up into small sets. Three two, one, here we go. Good job, squad. Thirty-five seconds. Fifteen, ten, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Ninety seconds. Forty five seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten. Here we go, you guys. Squeeze butt, squeeze abs, small sets. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Looking good. 40 seconds to go. Twenty seconds, you guys, keep it up. Squeeze booty, squeeze abs, super tight for me. Fifteen seconds. Five, 
four, three, two, one, and rest. Awesome work, you guys. All right, so now we're moving on to 30 seconds of hollow hold, one minute rest, okay? So I know some of us start, uh, struggle with our hollow hold. I mean, sorry, is it hollow hold or hollow rock? Let me double check. Hollow rock, okay. So hollow rock, you guys, uh, if we have a hard time with our hollow rocks, we feel like we're not really rocking smoothly. Um, we have a couple different options, but first real quick, right? If you're hollow rocks, we want to have head through our arms, reaching those hands back, squeezing butt, squeezing abs, rocking back and forth. If you don't look like me during your hollow rocks, I want you to bend your knee, okay? And that's gonna help you keep a smooth rock, okay? So same knee, same arm, grabs it, and then you can continue your rock. So that's your option, okay? Any questions? Pretty straightforward, okay. We are gonna go in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Nice well, good job, Sebastian. Here we go, Bev. 20 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and rest. One minute of rest. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Squeeze booty, squeeze abs. You got it, you guys. Remember, if you feel like you're like falling rather than rocking. I don't know, falling is not the right word. You know what I mean. If it doesn't feel smooth, bend one knee. 12 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Ooh, one more. Twenty seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Last hollow rock, thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds, keep it up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, 